guys, Sergeant First Class V here, back with another GCSS Army helpful tip and video. So this video here is by request. I had a uh, Sergeant First Class Vaughn reach out to me, asking me how do you go about searching uh, for a soldier in GCSS Army, right? So today I'm going to teach you guys three different methods you can use. Um, you can search by Social Security number if you have that, the DOD ID, or the last name, first name, right? So there's two different T codes we can use for this. We can use PA20, which is the uh, display HR master, or PA30, which is maintain your HR master. Now, most of you guys are not gonna be able to use PA30 because most of the people you're searching are not gonna fall into the scope of your operations, right? So without further ado, let's jump into GCSS Army here. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the previous videos that have already been posted and hit that like and subscribe button. So we're going to go to PA20. We're just going to display. So like I said, there's three different methods. You can do social security number, EPID, DOD ID, or you can search by last name, first name. So we're going to search by social security number first. All right. So we're going to use my social. Right. We're going to type in equals, whoop, equals Q period. And the social you'll hit enter right so it's going to pop up my information that's how you search uh, for an individual with a social security number now if you are trying to find the dod's for your organization i suggest giving your s1 or your order the room maybe they can provide you a copy of the 162 and you can go from there all right so i'm actually going to do a video sometime this week on how to build your personnel uh, listings so you can take your whole unit and you can build all of your personnel for your your unit so let's clear this real fast and now i'm going to show you how to search by dod -D id okay so this one's pretty easy it's uniform it's equal uniform dot dot and then you're going to type in the actual dod id number okay you'll hit enter so what that does is it pulls the whole database in G-Army and looks for that DOD number. It's doing a query, all right? So as you see, my information popped up once again, right? So if, let's say you don't have the social or DOD ID, right? So what you can do is you can go over this box here. And you can search by last name, first name. Now, this method, I really... Don't want to say it doesn't work it works but if you have a common name like uh perez or johnson something like that you're gonna have multiple people pop up if they have the first name and last name so you're gonna have to know their date of birth all right so you hit enter boom and there you go that's how you pull uh last name first name now you can also let me refresh this when you click on this box here, right, you can actually go to organizational assignment here and you can put in your organizational unit and it will pull, uh, you know, by name. So you typed in your unit and then typed in your last name, first name, it'll pull whatever Johnson, Perez, Valora, whatever it may be within that unit. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, like I said, there's three different ways you can do it by social, DOD, ID or last name, first name, and you can do it by organization, all right? So I want to thank you guys for all your support over the last two weeks. Um, our subscribers are growing constantly, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go ordinance.